I love flying the friendly skies with United. I can't wait to get on board. Let's get to our seats. I love flying the friendly skies with you. Hi, there. I just love this flight. I need a bathroom right now. Well, the gas, you know, from the awesome beans. Oh, yes, sir. The bathroom is right around the corner. We put extra toilet paper in the bar just for you. Hi. How are you enjoying the flight in the friendly skies? You're Just amazing. Could I get a Whopper with extra lettuce and ketchup? Oh, yes. Of course you can. With people like Nancy, Coming right up. The need anything the else. World. We are here for you. Oh, I do need some help with one of my You're four carry-ons. I need to get my guns, knives, and rocket launchers. But now, now things, things have changed. changed. Let's, Let's get, get our, our feet on. on. I sent some unruly passengers. They must be dealt with in the usual manner of course. And we are overbooked. I'm feeling the beat. The passenger in 24 just spent excessive time in the bathroom. I will release the scorpions. Attention passengers. You live to serve this ship. Row well and live. Attention, Attention passengers, the random meetings will commence in 30 seconds. Holy shit! Prepare for your random beating. You may select from beatings to head, abdomen or genitals. Or, you may desire 30 minutes of waterboarding, but I don't pick any, thank you. There is a scorpion on my head. It just bit me. Serves the alright, loser. Stay out of the bathroom. Hello, America, and welcome to your evening news. Remember our motto. We deliver the news and shove it down your throat. There is a breaking story coming out of Chicago today. Apparently, four United employees needed to get to Louisville urgently so they needed to boot four passengers off the plane. Huge incentives were offered, but none accepted. Then, they at random selected four passengers to leave the plane. Three accepted their fate, but one did not. Let's look at a video taken by a passenger documenting the horrific scene. Attention passengers, we are overbooked. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mr. Class Holman. That's right, I am. We are United Airlines Police. Nice to meet you. You have been chosen to leave the plane. Get off now, or there will be serious consequences. What does this mean? It means sir, that you must leave the plane. Now. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, guys, let's take him down. Are you Swedish? You look Swedish. We are not Swedish friendly here at United. Yes, I'm Swedish. And Swedish lives matter. Hey, look, guys, a Swede. How shall we take him down? I say Viking style. Maybe a Swedish massage. Leave me alone. This will pay you back for the Swedish involvement in the Thirty Years' War. No one forgets that, especially United Airlines. Can I 
have some more friends. Suck it up, Buttercup. No. I cannot watch anymore. Okay, I'm over that. Let's get some others to weigh in on this horrific event. First, we will talk to CEO by Maester from United Airlines. Welcome to WORN News, Mr. Harold but Meister. Hello, Dave. It is my pleasure to be here. But Meister. I know it, but Meister. Ha, ha. You are thinking of my twin brother, Walter but Meister. He is a gastroenterologist in Wheeling. Yes, I know him. I went to school with him here in Wheeling, and more recently, he perforated my bowel during a colonoscopy. So, did you grow up in Wheeling? I don't recall a twin but my sister. Understandable, Dave. I spent many years of my youth in mental health facilities for killing small animals with my collection of swords, knives and guns. So, how do you view the outrageous events on United Flight 666 yesterday? It is indeed unfortunate. However, passengers must obey or they will be removed by whatever means necessary. So, Harold, I have done some research on you, and it's not pretty. Now, wait just one minute, Dave. I found out you run a gladiator school in Idaho, and your pet fool is named Spartacus. Come on, Harold, this can't be good. If you say so, Dave. And don't forget always to fly the friendly skies of United, where we will beat you senseless. I think we are done here. Hasta la vista, baby.